Hey viewers, recently I got a pretty good deal on this Cannondale Trail 5 mountain bike. And it's got disc brakes, mechanical disc brakes. Well, I'm converted to hydraulic disc brakes. I'm going to show you the whole process. Well, this is the brake set that I'm going to be using. Uh, I got them on eBay. They're uh, Shimano uh, BRBLM355. It's a set. And they come with the, the levers, the calipers, and the brake lines all hooked up. They're all pre-bled, so I just need to install them. I also got the rotors, but I'm not going to be using these because the wheels already have rotors. Um, we, if you order these, make sure that you order them in the correct configuration. Uh, order, I ordered these uh, so the right lever goes to the uh, rear caliper and the left lever goes to the front caliper. The main difference being the length of the brake lines there. So this is what I'm going to be using. I'm going to start with the front disc brake first, and so what I'm going to do is remove the front wheel. Then I'm going to remove the front caliper here, and this is a 5 millimeter hex screw here. Now this bike has a nice little uh, screw on uh, cable tie down here. Some of them might be on just by zip ties or something, but I'm going to go ahead and remove this here and I'll reuse it for when I hook up the hydraulic ones. So now I want to remove the lever, but in order to remove the lever, I need to remove the uh, grip here and I want to use, reuse the grip here. It's a little loose, but I can go ahead and get it off. What I'm going to do is take a small Allen wrench, just kind of slide it under there a ways. Then using uh, isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, is I'm just going to squirt just a little bit under there. Um, that will get under the grip and work like a lubricant. And I can pull this out of here. And then as I start working the uh, grip there, that alcohol kind of work its way into there. And slide it off and then that alcohol will evaporate and won't harden the rubber at all. And this lever just has a clamp bolt here and it looks like it's about a four millimeter so I'll just go ahead and loosen this and then I can slide the lever off here. Loosen a little bit more. Like that and so the front brake is removed. And then I have my new brake lever here, the hydraulic one, and so I'm going to install this onto here like this. It'll slide right on like that and kind of adjust the angle how I want it. And I want to make sure that I uh, have this uh, oriented so it's uh, right side up. I want to have this little opening for the uh, oil reservoir here on top. These will not work upside down. And so then there's a little clamp bolt and I'll just go ahead and tighten this down. Then I can reinstall the grip here. Again, just put just a little bit of the rubbing alcohol inside there. Shake it around so it kind of gets coated on the inside there and you can go ahead and even rub it on the, the bar there and then just slide the grip on like that. Adjust it to how you want it. As the alcohol evaporates, then this thing will be on there nice and solid. Okay, so now I'm ready to mount the caliper here, and uh, this one, it doesn't have an adapter, but the, the original one didn't have an adapter either. Uh, if the original uh, caliper had an adapter, go ahead and remove the adapter uh, little bracket from it and mount it onto the, your new uh, caliper here, but I don't need that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the brake line to the inside of the fork here, and I have the screws that the original uh, caliper were mounted with. I've coated them with a little bit of a Loctite blue. And so I'm going to put these in here. And I'm, just, I'm not going to tighten them all the way down. I'm going to tighten them most of the way down, but then leave them a little bit loose because I'm going to need to adjust the, uh, the caliper. And you still want the caliber to be able to move around like this. And so now I'm uh, ready to remount this little uh, tie down here. This will work for the brake line just as well as it did for the cable because they're about the same diameter. And uh, if you didn't have like a little uh, screw on tie down like this, you might have a zip tie tie down or whatever. Just go ahead and use what you got. 
like that. Now I'm almost ready to remount the front wheel here. Uh, before I do, I want to go ahead and clean off any oils off of the rotor there. So again, I'm going to use my isopropyl alcohol and a clean rag here. Just kind of put a little bit on the rag and just wipe down the surfaces of the rotor there to get any oils off of there that might have been on there from before. And then let it dry. Now it's possible that the brake pads may have gotten pushed together and you're going to need to push them apart so that you actually fit the rotor uh, between them. Uh, they've actually come with a small little plastic tool which you can use to slide in between there and that can help push the, uh, the pads apart. You can also use like maybe a, like a flat bladed screwdriver or something uh, but try not to gouge the brake pads. Just carefully push them apart so that you have a space in there uh, to fit the uh, rotor. And then remount the, the front wheel, making sure the rotor slides nice and easily into the, the, the uh, caliper there. And then make sure the wheel is fully seated and uh, into the uh, dropouts there so it's nice and straight. Now I just need to tighten down the caliper. In order to do that, I'm going to compress the uh, brake lever and the uh, caliper will uh, clamp down onto the rotor. Now it will be nice and centered and so now using a 5 millimeter uh, hex uh, socket I'm going to go ahead and kind of tighten these screws down but not really tighten them down super hard but just kind of firm them up a little bit. Then using a torque wrench I'm going to tighten them down to about uh, somewhere between 6 and 9 newton meters which is about 55 to uh, 80 inch pounds. Now you can spin the wheel, hit the brakes, boom. Perfect. Now doing the back brake is pretty much going to be a repetition of the front brake. So I'm going to start off by removing the wheel. I'm going to remove the, uh, the caliper here. What I'm going to do, it's already got the bracket attached, so I'm going to remove with the bracket because the new caliper already has a bracket attached. So, Now this cable here is held in place by uh, one, two, three, four zip ties. And so I'm just going to go ahead and cut those Like that, and so now the the, uh, the brake is hanging loose here. Remove the grip. Remove the original brake lever. Install the new brake lever, and clamp it down. Reinstall the grip. Okay, bring the caliper back here. Uh, the bracket was already mounted onto the uh, caliper here, but it's basically mounted the same way that it was on the original caliper. I have the screws here. I put a little bit of uh, um, Loctite blue on there, so I'm going to screw these in here. Firm these down just a little bit. Tighten them down to about six to nine uh, Newton meters. Like that. And these screws up here are still loose so that it allows movement up there. Now I need to tie the uh, brake line down here in the same place where the uh, the original uh, cable was tied down and I'm going to use little black zip ties, the same that were used before. And I'm probably not going to tighten them down all the way at this point yet, so uh, allow a little bit of movement of the cable until I get everything locked up. Clean the rotor with alcohol. Push the uh, pads apart if needed. Remount the rear wheel, making sure the rotor feeds into the caliper and the wheel is seated uh, straight in the dropouts and nice and straight. 
Now we need to tighten the uh, caliper down, so I'm going to compress the uh, brake lever so that it locks down onto the rotor, and then I'll go ahead and tighten these two uh, screws here to kind of like lock it down into place. And I'll just kind of firm them up right now. And then using a torque wrench, I'll go ahead and torque them down to uh, six to uh, nine newton meters. Like that. Now to test it, go ahead and spin, hit the brake. Boom. Perfect. Now tighten down these zip ties here and clip them off and kind of turn them in. Same with the others. And done. Uh, very easy upgrade. Uh, plug and play. Take the old stuff off with the new stuff on and you got hydraulic brakes. There were no wrinkles in the ins this install uh, really. Uh, one wrinkle that might have occurred is if there were uh, different size rotors on there. These are 160 millimeter rotors which is what the calipers were set up for. But if there were different size rotors, what I could have done was simply take the adapter brackets off the original calipers, moved them over to these and it should have worked. Um, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Hope you found this video useful or interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe. You see new videos that come out. I'm always coming out with new videos. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like that page. I post a ton of stuff over there. And I have a webpage, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, sign up for the page, and I have a lot of stuff over there as well. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.